Evening folks, just watched a very entertaining 2-2 draw between Everton and Watford. Uh, very exciting to watch on, on a Monday night. Sometimes those games can be can be pretty boring, but this one was this one was different. So I'll start with the team news first of all. So Michael Keane came back in at centre back for Everton, having missed out uh, in game week 15. He partnered Mina at centre back again uh, with Zuma back on the bench. Bernard was back on the wing. Um, he didn't start game week 15 either, so he came back into the starting lineup, and Richarlison was back up front. For Watford, uh, two guys I'd never seen play before started their first games of the season, Sima and Kina. It was a it was a tricky job for the commentator tonight with all the similarly named players on the pitch. Uh, Sima will be getting a shout out on the podcast tomorrow as well for a 59th minute appearance. So both those guys started with uh, Kapui was serving, I think it was the second game of his suspension. So Kapui was a, a big miss for Watford in midfield, but... They seem to manage okay without him. Isaac's success started again. He got 73 minutes alongside Troy Deeney up front. So anyone who owns success, I think you can hold on to him now. You know, he's getting a lot of game time. Didn't have a great game tonight, but the fact that he's starting is a, is a good sign. And Watford do have good a good fixture run coming up, which I'll talk about towards the end of the pod. Uh, Delafay was on the bench. Uh, that surprised me a little bit when when the likes of Sima got a start ahead of Delafay. He's he's very frustrating. Delafay. He's got he's got all the talent in the world, but in FPL he's just he never really is an option because when he does start he comes off early. Or tonight, you know, he just he does he only gets about half an hour. Uh, he, he didn't have much of an impact when he came on either. Everton went one 0 up. Uh, quite fortuitous. Walcott was offside in the build up. Uh, Andre Gomez played played the ball into Richarlison. It was a good finish. Uh, so Gomez got the assist and Richarlison got his goal. There was uh, a couple of minutes after that, uh, Richarlison had another chance as well. But Holobas was a great defender from Holobas. It looked like uh, Richarlison was just going to knock it in and Holobas somehow came in to clear it away. But Watford, Watford got on. T- Everton were the better side for the probably for the first half an hour. But then Watford got on top. After that, Everton didn't really push on after the goal, which I expected them to. And Watford were the better side then for the next, you know, for the middle part of the game, before half time and after half time, and they deservedly went two one up. Just before half time as well, Yerry Mina, who got a stupid yellow card for handball um, earlier in the game. There was a challenge at the at the edge of the box, and initially looking at it on first glance, I thought that's a foul. Uh, I mean, it's going to get sent off here, but the ref didn't give a foul, and I actually I didn't see a replay to get another look at that. But going by a couple of tweets, it looked like possibly that that might have been a been a foul, which could have seen Mina sent off. So Mina was quite lucky, maybe um, just to get a yellow tonight, not a red. So. Delafeo came on in the 59th minute for Sima, and then 62nd minute, a very unlucky own goal for Seamus Coleman owners. It was uh, a ball played in to the box, and Pereira, a great strike on goal from Pereira, which hit the post and just ricocheted off Coleman and went into the net. Very unlucky. So Pereira got the assist for that one, and Pereira got the assist then for Ducuri's header as well. It was a great cross in. So two assists for Pereira. He's going to get a nice points haul tonight. Um, and he's one. He's he's going back on my watch list now after that performance because, as I said, Watford Watford's fixtures. They've got Cardiff, West Ham, then Chelsea, which is a tough one. But then it's Newcastle, Bournemouth, Palace, and Burnley. So Watford have a great run. So the likes of Pereira uh, are worth looking at again now. De Curry, that was his second goal in two games, but I think he's five point nine million. Uh, Pereira is 6.2 and I think if I was going for Watford it would be Pereira's the guy I'd be looking at for for goal threat and assist potential as well 66 minutes Everton were awarded a penalty Mina was fouled by Cabaselli so Mina owners were, were looking at a possible assist but Sigurdsson missed the, pe- missed the penalty uh, saved by Ben Foster so Ben Foster is going to get a, a decent points haul as well despite conceding two goals Probably not a lot of people have Foster at the moment. I know he's pop. He was popular earlier in the season, but he hasn't been playing very well. So yeah, he's probably on a couple of benches more than likely. But it was it was a poor penalty from Sigerson right down the middle. Uh, Foster saved it with his feet, and Siggy seems to have missed a few penalties now recently uh, in the last year. So maybe we'll see someone else getting a chance, possibly Richarlison. But 
I don't know about Richarlison. I, I, I wouldn't be overly confident with him stepping up from the penalty spot. Uh, I'd probably actually rather if he didn't get them, to be honest, as an owner. Um, what else? So yeah, it looked it looked as though it, it looked as though Watford were going to get a a, des- a deserved win, but then ninety fifth minute, there was six minutes added on ninety fifth minute, uh, a handball at the edge of the box. I'm not sure who it was, but Richarlison wanted to take it. He was trying to fight, the, trying to get the ball off Dina to take it. Uh, Sigurdsson and Dina were standing over it, and Dina stuck it in the top corner. So well done to owners of Luca Dina. On Twitter, you would think he's owned by. 30-40% of managers, but he's only owned by 3, 3.5, 3.6 managers, percentage of managers, so he, he's going to give you a nice boost in rank. He's probably going to get three bonus by the looks of it, so 10 points. So well done to Dino owners, a nice way to finish the game week, especially maybe if you've if you've had a bad one. That's a nice little little 10 pointer to, to give you a wee boost. So that, that's it. That's the roundup. Um... Sigurdsson and Dina shared corners for Everton. Holobas and Pereira shared corners for Watford. Apart from that, I think that's everything covered. Watford have um, Everton. Sorry, have two tough games now. They play Man City away and Tottenham at home. But I think I'm just going to keep Richarlison. and I, I feel that he could be a season keeper. Um, when he got his goal early tonight, I was hoping he could push on and get even more. But apart from the goal, really, he didn't do an awful lot else. He had a couple of half chances, but uh, just couldn't sort his feet out and things like that. But I do feel, I think he's just a hold if, you, if you've got him. Um, that's it for Everton. Watford 2-2. Um, very good game. So I'll leave it at that, folks. I'll be back. Back in game week 17, hopefully with a few more of these ITS podcasts. Let me know what you think of them as well. Uh, any 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 feedback you have, anything, you know, should I change it in any way? I was thinking of doing them possibly, you know, maybe not seeing the score at the start and, you know, running through the game almost, you know, as a live commentary, but, you know, within five or six minutes. Maybe for people who don't see the game, um, might be more entertaining that way. You know, you can just listen to the podcast and, you know, relive it almost having not seen it so yeah that's it i'm just rambling so i'm out of here